Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Arpneural Therapy Library. My name is Jake. I am your trainer. And in this video, we're going to be going over shoulder pain, pad placements, and movements that you can do using the PRS device. Some of the more common shoulder pains that we deal with and that we're successful with involve rotator cuff. You know, some sort of tear. If you have a labral tear, that's another issue that we do a great job with a lot of times with blood flow. And this could usually lead to a lot of things, whether it's sports or just overuse. Sometimes a fall can create a lot of that. Um, the other one is adhesive capsulitis, otherwise known as uh, frozen shoulder. And this is something where a lot of inflammation is built up in that area and it just feels like the shoulder is frozen and it cannot move. Uh, this is another good tool to use to help alleviate that and we've had a lot of success with that as well. Another one is arthritis. Arthritis occurs in the shoulder when you start to lose a lot of the uh, cartilage around that area and it just starts to build inflammation thus creating a lot of pain in that area. This is a good device for that not just because of the muscle contractions but also the blood flow that you can get and I, these pad placements are going to be specifically targeted on those areas. Now another thing I want to talk about is referred pain. Now, a lot of that referred pain can come from the neck area. Now, we do have a neck placement protocol. I will leave that in the link somewhere over here. And you can couple that neck protocol along with this one, and they tend to work really well together, and I think you're going to have some great results. Regardless of what type of shoulder pain you're going through, I'm going to give you specific pad placements that you can do to help alleviate a lot of that pain. In this protocol, we're going to be using the four pin lead system. First, you'll take the black lead and you're going to place the black lead right on the back of the shoulder going horizontally, just like that. Next, you want to take the red lead and you want to place the red lead on the inside portion of your bicep, also going horizontally, just like that. Once you have those two pads placed, you want to go ahead and you want to mirror that on the opposite side. So as you can see here, I also have the black on the other side of the back of that shoulder and of course the red on the medial portion or the inside portion of that bicep. Now that all four pads are placed, go ahead and wrap it up and then we'll get into our movement portion of this protocol. Okay, so now that we're ready to get into the movement portion of this protocol, as you can see here, I have the red pads on the inside of my biceps. You could certainly wrap these if you wanted to. These are brand new pads, so I know they're gonna stay. I chose not to, but if they're, as they get older, the adhesive starts to wear out, you could wrap them. You could still have that current on there. The black is on the back here, but the shirt is actually tight enough where it's keeping that secure as well. So black on the back, red on the uh, medial portion of, of the bicep here. Now. I do recommend getting some sort of bar, as you can see here, home remedy right here, just using any type of like standard mop broom is what this particular thing is. Something light. You don't want anything heavy because it's not really about weight. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll power this up. So hit that purple power button, wait for the beep. Now, as you can see here, I am using the pouch. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, the PRS fits very nicely into this. If you don't have one, you can always purchase one at arpenrow.com. Go into the store and you can purchase it. I'll also leave a link uh, on a video, you know, kind of showing you how to set it up with the PRS. But if you don't have a pouch currently, it's no big deal. You can always use that, that little clip that it comes with and just clip it to the side of your waist. So now that I have this turned on, I was gonna go ahead and turn this up. If you hit it individually, it slowly goes up or you can hold it down and it goes up a lot more. As you can see here, just kind of an inactive movement. It's sort of fired up quickly. It kind of gives you that idea that those contractions are really hitting. Um, now, sometimes you're gonna get some of those compensations like this, you know, just kind of work through it. Now, the shoulder one, I want to kind of talk about the breathing because when you have it on something like the medial bicep, you tend to get a lot of this. You see that curling there? Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slow exhale. On the exhale, try to drop the shoulders, move around the wrist, and you can get a better form here. Now, this one, feet shoulder width. Can you do this seated? You can. I prefer you do it standing just so you can have your shoulders back with better posture. But to start off, you just want to go chin level or eye level, and then all the way down. All the way up here, and all the way down. Now, 
you can, you know, one of the things to keep in mind is the wrist. So this tends to happen. You want to have the wrist curl or the elbows bend. Again, breathe through it. You want to make sure this is nice and straight. Chin level or eye level. Right here. So with this movement, you want to do four sets, five to ten reps. In between each set, of course, always increasing that output power as much as you can tolerate. So this next movement is very similar to the first one, the anterior delt raise, but instead of stopping at chin level or eye level around that range, we want to go all the way up over our head if we can. But let's turn it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, let's get some juice. See how they have that little hand curl? Just move it around. It's all about breathing. Breathing will definitely help that. But yeah, it is. If I just let it go, this is where neurologically, as you can see, a lot of reaction here. So this one, again, shoulder width, overhead, and all the way down. All the way overhead, and all the way down. Good control. You don't want fast movements. And all the way down. And now, with this particular movement, once again, four sets, five to ten reps, increasing that output power as much as you can tolerate in between every set. And this is your overhead anterior delt raise. Now, this last movement is going to take a little bit more control, so don't worry if you can't go as high on the output power. But I call these a kind of a baseball rotation. So you want your arms up like this. I usually like to just make fists. Just like that. If you want to get light dumbbells, that's great. Just make sure they're not heavy because you don't want to make, you don't want that weight to push this down. You want to make sure you're keeping your elbows up. And then we're just dropping this down and then bringing it up. Now, a common mistake on the side is that people push out. You see what I do with my elbows? You want to keep that back. You're just kind of, your, your elbows are on a, like, almost like a rotation. They shouldn't move and they shouldn't drop. All the way down and all the way up. Here's another view here, all the way down, all the way up. So with this movement, as all the others were, four sets, five to 10 reps, increasing that output power in between every set. I call these baseball rotations, and I consider these an intermediate to advanced movement, just because it's a little bit more difficult to get that rotation down. But it's definitely a good one to try to work up to. So there you go. There are some pad placements and movements that you can do to help alleviate a lot of the shoulder pain that you're going through. If you have any questions regarding the pad placements or movements in this protocol or any protocols that you haven't seen yet, feel free to reach out to us at info at arpneuro.com and we will certainly put that on our list so we can continue to build that and it can be a device that helps service you to the best possible we can and you can live the healthiest life you can possibly. Possibly live. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And this is your shoulder pain protocol. Oh, no!